here's the thing. I've knocked the show for the jokes. The joke this week caught me off guard. It actually made me that laugh really when Benny Morrow was like, you know, I'm thinking about something. I got a question to ask. He's like, what? Did you have that haircut? <laughs> that so that was, really was actually good. really good. Yeah. You don't have to fire the intern if you were listening to this podcast by chance. Creator of Fire <laughs> If you're Force. still there. If you're still part of the, co- the company. Yep. Yeah, intern, you did uh, good, man. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 12 of the summer 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Oh, hello. And finally, we have Sasha. 52. Yes. <laughs> so, on, um, that's a great moment. So we only have um, one piece of anime news that I just want to get cover real quick, because, you know... We couldn't. We can't get enough of Sword Art, so we need to get more. So Sword Art Progressive is announced. Basically, hey, but at least it's gonna be Ironcrad, though. Yeah, but I'm yeah. still sick of Sword Art. <laughs> can't wait. Yeah. Even so, though it's like everything we already kind of know, just a different perspective. So it's basically it like, yeah, re- like retelling. People say it's like it's more me from Asuna's point of view, and are these, basically are these the same? We're not gonna. That sounds are. awesome. <laughs> Yes. It does. Are, yeah. are these the same people that say that that uh, that uh, that um the uh, assassination under Pro- Roblox was good? Well, <laughs> I mean, they're just saying how it is, and it's saying quality. So mm, that's dangerous. They're not really that's, boasting right away. That's a day. That's, that's they're delusional. That's time. Yep. I mean, if you're a fan, you're, great gonna, guys. you're enjoy it. So yeah, oh, if, thanks, if, if you're a fan uh, of Sasha, you're just, you're just gonna enjoy it no matter what. Yeah, so, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need your thoughts. Doesn't care what we say. Sure. So. I just can't wait to hear about Asuna's perspective. I think his sword is lovely. Yes, his sword. <laughs> one, is lovely. one. Uh, yes, his sword. One. It's a chick. <laughs> Listen, he had a sex change in progressive because it's all about progressing into this a is, different. This is in the past. <laughs> of course, because he, he takes a time machine. <laughs> that is his sword. Uh, all right, <coughs> it's it's gonna be good. All right, yeah, so take Sasha's word for it. So. <laughs> That was announced because I know you guys can't get enough sword art, so we always need more. Oh, I can't. I need tons more. Uh, <laughs> so that's just our news. Uh, and then we're going to jump right into Got a High School. So I know Sasha has a lot of things oh, to boy. say, but I'll just say my part first that, like, this is the first time actually I, I thought that um, the tournament part was actually pretty cool, and then everything else that happened outside it was just. <laughs> really weird like the, the, the whole hospital scene was really weird like i, I don't know like that that's just my I just, the only thing i can think of this week it's just yeah and then it's if, actually, if you love if, it right if, if cool well if cool and straight had anything else to say i want them to get in, in first uh, i'm waiting for sasha that's why yeah i'm good fam okay <laughs> it's all yours sasha all take right. it. <laughs> okay i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat this if this was the fourth or fifth episode of God of High School, dropped. Absolutely dropped. Okay. The story is meaningless. Throw it out the window. The action is pretty, but it's also absolutely meaningless. This guy becomes Naruto Nine Tails. And then all of a sudden, we have, I forgot his name, Jin. He transforms into Lord Raiden and is able to suppress this other guy's powers when this guy's supposed to be half the power that is capable of defeating God. This story makes absolutely zero sense. God of High School has no idea what it wants to be. It uh, jumps around everywhere. Yeah, go I ahead. To, I hate to cut you off there, but I believe Jin has the Charyuk of Wukong. The, the I think it's King. Wukong. That's what I was saying. Yeah. All right. Well, guess what? If I was never familiar with Wukong, this shit still doesn't make sense. Like it, <laughs> it, it does. It makes zero sense. I'm, I'm pretty sure the manhwa is, is probably terrific and a wonderful read. I think the anime has just completely butchered any potential it had i don't care about the character development even my boy shark park has just become useless now because he's like oh i'll kill this random maid of yours let's make you feel somewhat sad let's introduce a character that's completely been ignored throughout this whole story and just put him in the story randomly like oh my gosh so many problems with this episode i just think the 
the show has made zero sense and has done a really horrible job of trying to put things together. Like it's just, it's just, it's painful to watch now. Like which, I don't care about any of the upgrades. Sorry, go ahead, Fred. Uh, uh, which character do they do they throw in there? The hospital guy who turns into a giant thing that swallows people. Oh, wasn't that the guy that was like the where the shark park like nearly killed? Yeah, the first time. Guy? Yeah, yeah, his opponent, Samsung, Samsung's uh, heir or something yeah. like that. Hey, how do you guys know well, his names? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so my bad for not paying attention to that, but no, still but terrible. No, no I, I totally where... get your point, Sash. Like. <laughs> I told yeah, you. It was, point, it was, so. Yeah, out of nowhere. So I, it's, it's, it's the was, show doesn't know what it wants to be. Go ahead, David. I was gonna say like because I think even for the manga, because I didn't I didn't read the manga, but I think even for the manga, I think it's just the case of like he was just making up as it went along, and so it feels so random. All these like d- like different elements of the story, like everything outside the tournament, like makes yeah, it doesn't make any sense, and it's just like it's just shoot in, and we have like no build up for any of it. So here's the thing. If if you go back to the beginning of the show, and let's just say you introduce the concept of Charyuk, and you say there's a contract human beings can make with gods to share their powers with them. Oh, okay. That lets me set up expectations to say, you know what? They might start off with normal powers, but they can build into these things. Like, let's take Naruto, for example. It's about a boy in a village, and he has ninja powers. But the very first we- scene we see is a giant nine-tails fox destroying the fuck out of that village. And you're like, Okay, so we know things can get massive. And even though Naruto does just go full blown out into random chakra stories by the end of it, you still have that, I know things can get crazy, anything can happen. With God of High School, they never set that up. It was just normal fighting at the beginning with potential Mm -hmm. super moves here or there, right? So the story goes from zero to 100, but it doesn't do so logically. It doesn't set you up for it at all. So it just feels really disjointed when we have these moments. I know it's physically like it's appealing to watch because the animation is really slick you can't discredit it but when it's meaningless it's just eye candy for the sake of eye candy right it's like oh man it it, it just pains me to watch the show now because there's no character development and if there is they just jump from one point to another like i thought that episode where moon style girl gets married was just like a one-off but that's pretty much become the whole show right now like every episode is like that Hmm. so I was I was like I was like ready to be to follow like with Brian like cause Brian like he was he was willing to accept that like it was like like batshit crazy with the powers and the power ups and so he was happy on that and I was I was willing to be there with him too but then it yeah like like you said Sash like it didn't build up properly so I can't like I can't have like that the the, the suspension of disbelief anymore because like I'm just thinking too much about everything else that's going on so. The show, be, uh, the show became a, a speed run, which is always like, it's always the worst with story. Oh, yeah, it, it's God. it's what One Punch Man made fun of, right? With what's the main character's name of One Punch Man? Saitama. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Saitama eventually just he just even if it looks like he's going to struggle, he didn't really, right? It's the same thing with Jin, where you're like, okay, so Jin's about to get his ass whooped, and it's going to take like two more arcs for him to develop some powers, which is typically how a story goes. You have to see your main character struggle in order to appreciate what they went through. Jin's just like, my eyes light up and I turn into a giant Lord Raiden. And you're like, when did we ever <laughs> get any hint of you being capable of doing that? Or where's the logic behind it? But no, as soon as this guy gets eyeshadow and grows tail out of his asshole, <laughs> this other guy is like, oh, I can c- counter that by dropping some lightning clouds on you. So it's like the moments don't mean anything. The power-ups don't mean anything. And so I am, a, as a viewer... I'm just completely disinterested in the show now. It's it's ruined any chance it had of being decent. Like I was like, okay, you know what? It's, it's a little bit crazy, but I'll still give it a chance here. But now I'm just like, I'm gonna hate watching these last few episodes. Damn. To be honest with you, I will say, I, I like uh, how they, I like how they brushed it off to basically where Jin doesn't even understand it because he was like the one that's like completely against Charyak, or at least for now, because it's not like his own power. And then he it basically seemed like it was in a sense like forced on him. I still yep. will like I'll still go with cool. Like I definitely think it was Wukong just because like that flash of the staff. That staff is always it always seems like it's it's been connected with Wukong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I still think it's gonna be him. I I will I will say that like um I do I think they were like hinting that he like Jin Mario was like super powerful because I feel like this whole show keeps hinting that like he's he's always had hidden potential. He's super strong and like his grandpa has always trained him. The only the thing is that like I don't like how he is always copying his opponent's moves like instant. That is way too, like I can't like I can't buy that. 
<laughs> this is a little too funny. When, when he was like, I mean, when you're fighting against a nine tail fox and you instantly copy his abilities just like that, like, okay, that's that's too much, way too much for me. Like, I mean, Goku did it. Goku doesn't have any original abilities. At least Jin has his own original abilities, I think. So, but he keeps stealing everyone else's. So does Goku. <laughs> doesn't. And we love what what he, technique does Goku have? That's his. I mean, he he was trained under Master Roshi, so that's how he get like a lot of his other techniques, and then. Kamehameha. That's the only thing he got from Master Roshi. Yeah. Doesn't do anything else. Kaioken from King Kai. Super Saiyan. That's just a thing that all Saiyans copying. That's training. It's different. There was a, there was a training arcs. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, it's it's okay that he doesn't have his own move set that he takes others. I think that's fine. As long as they build up to it, to where he can maybe hopefully build something that's original, like his own original move set. But, I mean, I think it's fine. Although I don't like how they incorporate that into the story because it feels like it's just kind of a cop-out. Well, but... it's like he gets it, like, at that moment. That's way too fast to pick it up, even for like, an overpowered main character. So. Hmm. Uh, I don't think so. Especially if he's considered overpowered. I, I think it's fine. But they had to do it tastefully, I think. And when they just kind of threw it in there, I thought it was kind of cheap. You know? Like, it didn't flow well. Like, oh, how am I going to counter this? Oh, I know. I'll just copy what I've seen so far. And yeah, just, no, that's just also what I'm it. saying. Like, yeah. he's doing way too fast. Mm -hmm. So That's the thing. Like, if they would have had stories that said, all right, this guy's not very good at coming up with his own moves, so he mm -hmm. tends to copy people. You're like, oh, okay, I can see now how he's picking up that technique. But it's just everything in the show is random. There's, Like I said, it's very disjointed. There's no logical leap from one event to the next. It's all just randomly put together. So when you watch it, you're like, what the hell is going on? I can't even invest into this because right. it's going to be meaningless the next scene. So mm -hmm. absolutely, like... I thought Tower of God suffered from poor pacing and disjointedness. Th this is a whole nother level. I, I think the next <laughs> Crunchyroll original, I'm not going to... I'm airing. definitely going to opt out. It's airing no next season. Yeah, no bless. Oh, shit. Here yep. we I'm just curious. No bless for me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but, but to touch on that point, yeah, that's how I felt about this from the beginning, right? Because of how they set up, like... Uh, what was that episode? Tower of God? Uh... Yeah, I was like, man, if this is how they're going to do Manuels, they're just going to rush everything and not flesh out the story. I don't know how I'm going to enjoy this. And then right. other than like the art style, yeah, this is even worse than that with the pacing. Like at least with like Tower of God, you can kind of like towards the end, it, it kind of like like worked well with the story. Like you're kind of interested and involved with the story because it actually took some time to flesh out some of their backstory and like what their intentions are. But with this, it's kind of just all over the place. So uh I don't think Manuals are going to do well with anime adaptions if this is how they're going to do every single one. Well, it's like it's a Crunchyroll is trying to force them in a sense where, where they're trying to get so like as much as they possibly can in like in like twelve episodes. I don't know if it's just to get like our attention or to get our like like or get us like connected to it, but mm -hmm. it's like they're going too fast that they're cutting through everything about like basically the backstory with the with the characters and they're only focusing on really at least for the show action scenes. Uh, well, like yeah. Tower of God, I don't Tower of God. I think was actually I think it found like a pretty good pace, like because I know like a lot of people said like the first part of it is just kind of really slow and boring, See. and it finishes off right where it seems like it gets really interesting. Right. Yeah. So, which, but I think, go ahead. Sorry. Tower of God makes sense because they had it was they had a a, a nice cutoff, whereas like yeah, God I doesn't sound like it has any good cutoff and. So and also, well, I, but also like, like the whole like twelve episode thing. I think it's just it's for, because we still suffer from the 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 broadcast um format where you can only have like a season, like where yeah. we really really we really need to move into like a a more like streaming style where we can just have whatever episodes you want. So they still have to follow like the TV broadcast format, even though I don't I don't think like these mangas are good that even do well in Japan. So like hmm. I feel like they should use this to move away from the 12 episode standard and finally set your own pace and well it's, i mean for, for god of high school like the whole part of it is god of high school but I mean, they already canceled the god of high school now it's more of a just like whatever the hell's going on in the outside world like they didn't even like finish this and then i don't know how like it's like the uh the mod the manual is still going when like what do they call it after the god of high school when, what what happens once this is done because it seems like it's almost at the end like in our perspective i think it's just or what we'd see besides like rushing i think it's also just like the manga making up as it goes along so yeah because i do remember brian was saying about how like he has sources that say like the like it kind of gets 
pretty whack at this point. Oh, okay. He says it gets back at the end. I don't know how near the end we are. So unless they're really rushing it, but I'm near the end, maybe. <laughs> I'm ready to pull that plug. <laughs> near the end, yes. <laughs> Our thoughts in sorter. Oh <laughs> god. So, yeah, yeah, just it's it's the opposite of Tower of God, man. Tower of God started off really slow and you're like, I don't even know if this is worth it. And then it got good at the end. This started off pretty strong. The first couple of episodes were really entertaining. And then <laughs> that marriage episode hit and we we're like, is it this is just probably one off thing? But ever since then it's just been kind of a mixed bag. <laughs> like the stock market crash. It basically. So I don't I don't see yeah. it recovering. If it does, I'll be pleasantly surprised. But honestly, I'm gonna watch that next episode and be like, oh god, I, I, I think... don't wanna watch this. It's good. I'm gonna I think it's like going to crash yeah. and burn. Like, yeah, so. I don't think there's any way they can recover from this. Two episodes left. It's yep. just no it's... way. They just kill everybody. Everybody loses their arm and leg. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, they fight with two characters, so why not just do the whole cast, right? Might yep. as well. Let's just randomly decapitate and amputate all these random characters. That'll make people feel bad for them. <laughs> yeah. People we'd have no clue. Like, we've, we've seen like one episode with them, and that's it. Oh, the, the, your maid died? So sorry for you. Fuck, dude, I'm sorry, man. Oh. man we, saying, she got 12 seconds of screen time. <laughs> dude, when, when that, that monster thing was like absorbing everyone, I was just giving cell vibes when he was like absorbing them whole into his body. Skipping those cell vibes. And oh, so the, way Venom, better. you yeah. name them. I mean, yeah. cell's way better, though. Oh god! Yeah, I, I feel like really dude, if they did if they did this in the same format like they was mentioning earlier, right? Or not twelve episodes, but like said, like Dragon Ball, One Piece, like they actually gave it time and a lot more episodes. I think this would be yeah. such a great anime. But... Or or um, not rush it because I don't know, like maybe like they were so scared of how like this there were all these like manga adaptations go. Like like yeah, may, I don't know why they had to felt like to rush it. So maybe because they did three mm. in a row, so maybe they just just done one, see how it went before. They try to make more so it, like, it's hard to say i have no idea i've heard mixed receptions about um country role as a company <laughs> so part of it could be they're like let's just we have enough we have this amount of money let's do these three shows we're gonna we're gonna suffer on the pacing but let's see which one sticks and if we make enough money back then we'll reinvest that money into a uh, second or third season i almost feel like that's their play rather yeah. than let's try to just make three really good shows right off the bat and spend x amount on them and then if we take a loss well we'll just well, fire more i think engineers i understand that point but i think even so they could start with one because i think this is still an yeah. experiment so they could at least done one see how it went and then put more investment into it but they just like they they just went right at it, so. Oh, God of high school. And this, this is the result, so. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, Two episodes. Yeah. Drop it! If you're watching it, drop it! <laughs> just do it! Just drop it! I mean, <sighs> depends on where you are. I mean, we have one episode. Wait. Two. No, two just episodes left. drop yeah. it! Why would you drop it now? Might as well just I, think, I think if you're, I'm not gonna drop I, it. I think if you're Brian in the mindset of Brian, just if you're just just looking just for action, I think it's fine. Just just watch it, like just like just watch and enjoy it. And if you're like, yeah, us, enjoy just, it like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, if you're like us, you probably like with you probably like don't know how to start. So, dude, but even Dragon Ball Z, Goku, all his he had to watch all his friends die, and then he's barely hanging on by a limb. He's like, ah. Oh. Give me your spirit power plant next to me and river water. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, he's going to do it. Right. Whereas this guy, what is Jin really lost? Besides not knowing if his grandpa is alive. And we've seen one episode where that story was fleshed out. That's it. That's all you got for Jin. We haven't seen him really struggle. He had a, a light scramble with that fox guy in the park. And you're like, okay, so someone knows all his weaknesses and moves now. But Jin... Mm -hmm turned into Wukong and defeated him within three seconds. Wow, that's really great storytelling. So, My kind of storytelling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just terrible. My my brain is self-destructed watching the show. So, uh, I'm, yep. I'm just like, I'm just expecting like these next two episodes. It's going to be like wherever like whatever like the rest of the budget is. It's just going to be just intense fights. Or at least like very nice animation. I'm not really expecting much from the story. Or even like where this is going to go. I'm just gonna guess like the end of this is like, gonna be the continuation of God of High School. Uh, I'm gonna guess they're gonna wrap this up in the two episodes. This we'll thing we'll, that's going we'll on. see. Let's be honest. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, at this point, it doesn't really matter. I just want to see the <laughs> sweet, sweet action. I want to see more of Wukong. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie though, like the most hype moment in this episode for me was just the fact that like Wukong manifested inside of them. Just because I feel like the Wukong itself fits Jin's character so well. It does. And if you know kind of like the backstory of Wukong, like it kind of makes sense that Wukong would be like the, the like a good opponent for the Nine Tail Fox. So hmm. uh, but it was it was really short, it was really fast, so it's that's kind of where it left me hanging. But yeah, that moment though was pretty hype to me. Yeah, I mean, we, got, we got we got Wukong, we got Lubu, so y'all better brush up on your Chinese history and folklore. And we got the Nine Tails. Uh, Nine Tails. Nine Tails, Nine Tails Universal though, because I'm pretty sure it's the Korean version of the Nine Tails. So, oh, I, just Nine so Tails. I just think I just think yeah. Bari. So you would, <laughs> because she's 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 the Korean version of the Nine Tail Fox. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yep. Sure did. Yes, you yes, really did. They, they, they did say QB in the Japanese version, but it's the Korean version. Sure. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that's gonna be it for God of High School. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're on next to Fire Force. Uh, dude, this dude is... I like this episode, but I'm so hyped for next episode. This is this oh is, god, this is a heavy episode. Like, dude, if you want action, you got it, bro. This is where well, like God of High even, School even, failed. Even with all the action, dude, the tone of this episode was super heavy. Joker and Benny Morrow, like they're they're so good characters. They're both fighting together. It's it's like goddamn, and no way. And like when you think about too, how like this is it's still the church. But you think of all the implications, just like the church having this like you know secret police and the child abuse and the pedophilia. Mm-hmm. It's like it hits too too hard to real life. Too close Sounds to like it's there. based off of real <laughs> stories. Um, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but dude. This is, or this was, by far, best episode of this season. Probably of the whole show, in all honesty. I think, I've been, I've been saying it all along. Uh, I'm waiting for that show to hit that mark where you're like, oof. Like, it's going to pick up, just like it did last season. Um, but my gosh, and I'm saying this because I'm a big Joker fan, right? From the beginning, I've always been invested in his character. And I said, the next time we see Joker, it's probably going to be a real good episode. So... <laughs> Here's the thing. I've knocked the show for the jokes. The joke this week caught me off guard. It actually made me that laugh really when Benny Morrow yeah. was like, you know, I'm thinking about something. I got a question to ask. He's like, what? Did you have that haircut? That <laughs> so was that was really actually good. really good. Yeah. You don't have to fire the intern if you were listening to this podcast by chance. Creator of Fire <laughs> If you're Force. still there. If you're still part of the, co- the company. Yep. Yeah, intern, you did um, good, man. All right. But this is an episode where everything worked. I was blown away by this episode, honestly, because... Like David said, you don't typically get this heavy story. And if you do, it's always some stupid mole with a bandana around his throat. It's like, <laughs> hey, guys, I, I, I want to save the animals. Before. Shut the hell up. <laughs> All right. So um, Joker's backstory is brutal, but it makes absolute sense. <clears throat> unlike God of War. Um, as yeah, to God why God. he is the way he is. Christ, right. <laughs> they beat the individualism out of him. And then he escaped and became a stray dog. Hence, hence why he's working solo YOLO. Um, He wants to get his vengeance back. His whole concept of justice is, I don't care what the truth is. I want my vengeance for what's happened to me. And, you know, it's your typical hero or anti-hero arc in a lot of comic book stories. But it was just so well done. Like, this is the one time where I'm extremely emotionally invested in the story because I'm like, okay, I feel for this guy. This guy got assaulted by this guy. And then he, you know, know, other things. Um, He gets out. And he finally finds a family that he could maybe potentially work with. Boom, that family's gone the next day when he goes to get groceries. So like, if you look at it from that point of view, that's real character building. And that's taking the time to set up characters and make you care about them. Like, I want this guy to be that first captain now. Like, I, wa- I, I want him to survive. He got his vengeance on the other guy. But I'm like, bro, this guy needs to move on. Please, please, man. So they got me invested in this character to the point where if he dies, I actually feel something for it. Got a high school, any character dies. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? So, Fire Force, I can't praise this episode enough. This is exactly what I asked for in my anime, and it delivered in every aspect. Do Do we think that Joker is going to die now? Do we think this is going to be the end? I think I'd say there's a good chance. I think there's a good chance. I think he'll live. I think there's too much of the story. We, not enough. We don't know about him. I think he needs to do more in the story. So, I would like him. I would like him to live so we can, like, so he can still do like more of the underground stuff. And Koo, you think he's gonna die, or he has a chance of dying? I said there's a good chance mainly because he's kind of uh, like he finishes agenda, so he that we know though that that we know of, right? Yeah. But 
I, I mean, because we all know that Burns is way stronger. Like, unless Joker somehow gets like. But Benny Morrow's there though, too. He has Benny Morrow there. Right, but still, I don't know. Like, we don't. We just still don't know how card. strong Burns is. Yeah. So I, I'm fifty fifty. I don't like this episode. I would have never expected from Fire Force. Let's be honest. Like, how many of us would have expected the brutal killings? Oh, the, no, like, no. they didn't take their chi- like pull punches. Then the story about like David was saying the sexual abuse as well as the physical abuse. You're like, whoa, this really heavy for a Fire Force episode compared to like two episodes ago when they're like, oh, I stabbed you through the chest. My body's really small. Oh, God, oh, I was dumb. Like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, I would have never expected it. Um, yeah. So I think there is a chance of him dying if the show continues. Because typically, like, the tone carries throughout the, like, the mini arcs that they have. So for three or four episodes, it'll be serious and action-paced. And then for three or four episodes, it'll be just goofy and off the wall and pretty much miss on everything they're trying to do. So there is potential here because they fleshed him out. And I could see him, like, coming up short because he is a lone dog. And, you know, maybe the show is more about the collective effort. So... We'll see, but I'm 50-50 on it, honestly. Uh, mm. I, have they killed anybody else off? I don't remember. I don't. I uh, mean, not a main, main character. Wise? No. There was a no. yeah. that Charon just, you know, destroyed in half in the park. With the, oh, next to oh yeah, yeah, well, forget that guy. <laughs> there's oh, also a guy, so there's a guy that lost his arm. But that's it. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, if the show has a history of killing off characters, I might, I might be more inclined to it, but it's like One Piece, where characters go through, like, having a bob go off, and then they're like, I'm back. <laughs> how, how do you survive that, bro? <laughs> My trump so, card came in handy. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm betting off this, like, don't go in a story and route, just not really killing them off, so. And I, okay. I would, like, actually, I would not mind if, if, if yeah, if he didn't die, because I want more of Joker doing more of the plot, so. I, I just feel there's so much more about him, like, that I would definitely, like, I feel like there's so much more that they can do with this guy. Like, why mm-hmm. kill him off now? I, and like, I think, it just doesn't make yeah. any sense. And like I think I don't think he's astray. I think he's working with another different organization to help bring down the church. So I want I I want to hear more about them. Like, um, and I, I think, think it's just I, him and Victor, honestly. Yeah, yeah I, I think okay. it, it, I feel like if he was working with another group, it would kind of like ruin his character for me because he's the stray dog, right? Like, yep, okay. loner. That, maybe like, that's what maybe makes just him freelance then. Feeling. Yeah, <laughs> like if it was him and him and. Uh, if it was just him and Lick, like I, I think that's like the perfect duel, right? They both have the same goal, and they're just working behind the scenes. Um, but if there's another yeah. group behind it too, it, it kind of throws it off for me. We'll see. Yeah. And then, do we think that they're going to be able to get like the book? I guess from Burns. Like, do they, they want, do they they want the scriptures? Actually... So. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah. You don't think you're going to get it? No. Plus, you don't know who else is going to intervene, right? That's the I think that's been done before that's in the show where someone yeah. else always jumps in. So mm-hmm. you don't know. It might be just him. And number one guy fighting, and then all of a sudden Benny Maru hops in, and another guy hops in. So there's potential that the story continues from this because we get an incomplete battle because we are only halfway through the season. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm sure earlier, and I, I'm pretty sure they they hinted at Burns having strong connections to the church. I think I forgot about that, but I do remember, yeah, him having strong connections. So it makes sense that, like, I'm sure. That, I wonder if next episode two we do get do the backstory of like the eye patches with Joker and Burns and kind so of, they're yeah. definitely connected. Yeah. We're all one be pirates, Shark. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They found the one piece and it cost them that. Yeah. Oh god. I don't yeah, know. Man, next I, episode, I can't I can't give this episode enough praise. Like the season has been pretty much meh, but man, when I watched this, I was hyped. I was like, oh I forgot. <laughs> This is this is what the the potential show has. Like from the first season, that Vulcan arc, I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually really good. Dr. Giovanni and his tactics. But you, you, you kind of lost the sense for that because the show gets wacky at some points. And I, I get why the fan service and the really forced humor, but I no, when when a show does it well, I will definitely praise it. And uh this was oof. Mwah, bellissimo. Yeah. <laughs> So then, do you think this is going to be the hype of the show for you then? After this is just going to start to plateau off? Mm, I think, you know what? They pulled this off so well, and this is going to be a personal favorite of mine. I mm-hmm. think what's going to happen is we'll have a, a good follow up episode. After that, it's going to peter off into some weird story that we just don't really care about. But mm-hmm. I think they'll build it back into a, a strong finale because that's pretty much the formula they used for 
last season say, as well. That's yeah. like what the show is. It's like it basically starts off strong, then they basically kind of like a dull moment. Then it starts up again, and then it kind of goes dull again. And then where I yep. just see, it seems like it's like they have like weird fillers where it's not filler, but it's bad. <laughs> Which yeah, it's, I, agree. It, 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 I don't know. It's it's a hard. Uh, it's probably, yeah, it's probably just the way the manga is probably structured. Like he probably he's probably like you like he probably is using like those fillers just like to figure out what to do next. So yeah, that makes sense. Dude, I just gotta say, I'm jealous of his tongue powers because when when uh that cap, the tongue captain, strength. yeah, tongue strength. When he put his boot on his head and he's just like, ah, you little scrum, and then all of a sudden he just pushes himself up with just his tongue. <laughs> oh, and then I love the part where he's like, oh, by the way, all these cards, they're loaded with psychedelics, baby, my boy Victor, hook me up. And then he just goes off into that random acid trip where he's like, la la la, oh, la joke, like a fucking clown, yeah. Dude, oh, oh, that was so good, dude. Oh, my yeah, God. that was. Did, did you guys feel like I, I felt like Joker was like weaker than he should have been, though? Did I feel what? like that? Like b- before the cards, before like you know, the second out of the cards, like because oh. like, like, the beginning of the show made it seem like Joker was just like on a whole different level, and then he was just like, I mean, it seemed like he was, he was, was fighting. Kind of... I think that's because he was fighting Shinra, and Shinra was weak back then. That could be too, so. yeah. But like, he did yeah. fight um, show. remember, in the first season, and he was like, oof, I barely escaped there. Like that kid's getting strong. Mm-hmm. Um, that's true. So it's it's yeah. hard to judge their power levels because I don't think they're going like full force at each other. I, but yeah, I, I I can see where you're getting at. Like I thought Joker should have finished that guy off a lot sooner, but I seem weak as fuck. Like the guy he's facing. They, maybe he was just baiting. I mean, to get off like the the psychedelics off the cards. He could have been just maybe yeah, he'll show us strength against Burns next week. So yeah. that was a brutal. But life. I love the fact that he didn't like take his time with it or torture him or anything like that. He's just like, nope, you're not worth my time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's nuts. Yep. Great episode. 10 out of 10 okay. episode. Fire Force, you done me proud. Ooh. Oh, baby. He's got, he's got to finish up the season strong, even though it continues next season. Next season. So Which I'm so happy about. Because after I got out of high school, I was like, dude, I don't watch <laughs> Fire Force. It's going to be horse shit. And then I was like, oh, my God. This is so good. I needed that. Yeah, it can't be bad with Joker and Benny Morrow. You know, it's going to be nope. uh, top notch. They're also they're in the opening strand, so that's why I kept painting at this all the oh. time when i kept saying like there's a part coming up this is the part i was talking about because it was yeah, in the opening I, so i was like i was like there, there's gonna be a part that strand's gonna enjoy because of benny maru in the opening i haven't watched the opening since like the first episode of this season i keep skipping it now <laughs> i don't remember what it was just oh, God. <laughs> sounds like all the other Amer songs which is good but i, I have that episode. i have that song already no right. so, i don't know yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's gonna run out our discussion of Fire Force. Really hype, really excited for next week. So we'll see how it how it goes. And now we're gonna move on to Re Zero and Ku. It's just like another week of just more cliffhangers. I don't know what to call it a banger, but just more Oh, it's a banger, alright. <laughs> more of like we're definitely not finishing stuff by the end of this first season. We have nothing done. So you remember when I said there's no way that they're going to leave this open-ended? Well, guess what, sir? They are leaving this open-ended as fuck. This three-year-old because... was like, I'm going to end this whole man's career. Basically. Because not even, like, not like we're, we're not even at a point where we're, we haven't solved anything. They're still giving us more to think about, right? Uh, freaking Roswell knew of everything all along. Like, he has his own book as well, like his own gospel. So he knew of Subaru and his abilities all along. And he's still crazy strong. He apparently has his own agenda, kind of like how Beatrice had her own agenda, like her own wish that needs to be fulfilled. And yeah, just that ending in general was just I have a lot crazy. So, there's a lot. Like the one thing I want to start off with first is um like um like when when Subaru when he um like when he was talking to Beatrice, uh he. He knew like that. Like, he said like, you know, are you? Was it like, like you? You're like a follower of like a kid now. Like, how do you know that? Like, that's one thing I don't like. Get yeah, like, how did he connect the dots that like that Beatrice was in the library because of the kid now? I think it was mainly due to the uh, explanation that he got from last episode, based on the, like how spirits work, what a kid was doing. Um, and I don't think he knew for sure, but he was just trying to put pieces together. And after talking to Beatrice, it just kind of confirmed it. 
So that's the only thing I can think of. And again, from the looks of it, they're kind of throwing a lot at you that they didn't explain. Like if you would look at like say maybe the light novel or the manga, they definitely go more in depth as to like what Subaru was doing okay. in the background. So I think that's what it was. Just a lot of rushing. So we don't get to see what okay. actually I probably, happened. I should have read the Reddit thread then because like that's the one part. Like I didn't understand how he he just knew that like it was a like it was a cat now even though i guess like it mm -hmm. makes sense with this this arc because everything is all about her so mm -hmm. it makes sense now that so we know the whole backstory is like is they're basically following a, a cat now's book i think that's what threw us off in the beginning because we all thought it was connected to like beetle geese mm -hmm. but because he was what was he was like the sloth was like was he the archbishop of the sloth? yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. yeah so he was the sloth i don't remember, I remember which witch that was but I don't think we've seen the actual witch yet. Okay, but it makes sense now that so so Beatrice and Roswell they're followers of Aketna, and so and God, dude, I just that that Roswell of uh, that Roswell scene that was fucked up. Like when you just start stabbing and smack and just like smacking everyone, like I, like I already hate the guy, and now it's just like. Like I don't care what you're doing, man. You're just, you're just like. I, don't know, I mean, like, like I want to say he fits like the anti-hero. <laughs> like, so still fucked up. Like so. Uh, yeah, but that's the thing. He's not really a bad guy per se either, because at the end he lets Subaru live. He's like, hey, you know, like I know what you're doing, and I believe you're gonna help me fulfill my agenda as well. So, uh, you know, keep keep trying. You I know, mean, it's follow, more, follow your heart. It's more like he's like he's being selfish because he's trying to like fulfill his wish. Is either that or he's like, try, I guess, trying to follow the book. But I mean, well, if that's the case. Then how do you feel about Beatrice? Because she's in the exact same position as well. Yeah, I feel more bad for right. her because she was one. She's the one that's more trapped. She feels right. like she can't do anything against the the book. Whereas, like, I think Roswell, I think he's trying to like have he's he has something. He has like a goal in mind to do. That's why mm -hmm. he's like trying to follow the book. Uh, I suppose, but the issue is we're not really sure what his uh, deal is because I can't imagine him being a clone as well, like Beatrice. Uh, just mainly the fact that he has a completely different design. But I mean, he he could be right, like he could be one of the failed experiments yeah. that uh, that kid went through in the very beginning. Uh, because I... even even Beatrice looks slightly different than uh, from the other sages that's in the in the sanctuary. So Be Beatrice, she's a she's a spirit, and she, that's what they said. Like she's a so that's that's why she looks up to Puck so much because like she's a spirit and so, and so and so right. she's a spirit that was trapped in the library and that's that's another thing too it's like how did how did Elsa kill a spirit with just like that knife unless she used magic that was the only other thing but whatever like that was well the thing is it's not like Dragon Ball where there's like like clear power levels <laughs> everyone is strong in their own sense right because if you think about it from the very beginning. When she was fighting against that one night, she didn't lose, she didn't get captured. I think she just stalemated and she backed off. And we haven't seen her since this season. So, like, who knows how strong she really is? Mm. I mean, for all we know, she could be as strong as Roswell or maybe any of the other archbishops. Uh, the only thing I, like I didn't like was the fact that they're throwing stuff that came out of like left field. Like her, like, like the, apparently the, her partner, partner was that little girl from the Those, village as well. And yeah. she was the cause for all that uh, stuff in the village that happened in season one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like just like I said, just tons of things just opening up to you. Tons of information that wasn't there before. Uh, and um, I guess unless you read the manga, there's no way in hell you would have seen it. I mean, it's original light novel, but yeah. like Or, or red light novel, yeah. I don't so. know. The, the whole thing about like the other girl, it just seems like it just didn't feel like it needed to be there. Like... It felt so like extra, like it didn't really. Um, I don't feel like it, it probably much of the plot, like because you could have done all this about having like a helper, like or like a spy in like the village. So, well, I would have to disagree because uh, she was mentioned a little bit earlier in this uh, when when Subaru first met Elsa. Uh, uh, she did mention her partner's name, which kind of threw me off because I didn't know who she was referring to exactly. Um, but if Depending on how this plays out, maybe she would give more information to help the cases go along more smoothly. Because I don't think Subaru's even done uh, gathering all the information he needs. And like we don't even know for sure if after this death, he's going to return back to that same point that's been used this whole 
uh, season. I guess, so. yeah. Like, we always assume he is, just because it makes sense narratively, but, like, they, like right. again, like, the, all, like, the reset points, are all, they're always arbitrary. And I guess mm-hmm. we've, I guess we've learned it's based on what, like, Satelia, th- I don't know, whatever Satelia does for, for her magic, so. But still, like, they don't have a clear, mm-hmm. like, conditions of when it's supposed to, like, reset. Uh, I don't know if it's even Satelia. I think it's just like fate like what's the true path and i don't like maybe it is her but i feel like it's it's something bigger than that because they're saying like, like um like still like she she doesn't want super to go away so she'll do everything to make sure he doesn't die and then like and that's why he she resets it just mm. like she doesn't care about like i mean she doesn't even care like, what happens like what paths he takes it's just like as long as he stays alive that's like her her main goal of the magic, so. Right. True. Uh, I mean, Did Elsa die? Out. What's that? Did Elsa die? No. Nope. Not yet. <laughs> or not. Maybe never. But no, <laughs> she didn't. But yeah. <sighs> but man, dude, just yeah, just this whole season has just been blue balling me the whole time, dude. <laughs> I told you, and then, I can't handle it, man. No, and then the fact is, is that they, they give you these, like, maybe just me, I'm a degenerate, but then they showcase, like, a kidna, like, the side of a kidna that makes you really want to believe that she's a good person, or, like, makes you want to make her one of your waifus, but, uh, yeah, like, I don't even know what's going on, go on with her. I was kind of hoping that she'll get more airtime with this episode as well, um, but maybe the next episode is going to be where it all gets spilled out. It's 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 so weird because like because we started this whole thing with like um greed and I think was that on Gluttony, like the yep. two archbishops yeah like they they basically start everything, but now like the whole focus is on Aketna and the, for greed mm-hmm. and we didn't even see like any of like, the the archbishops for the greed although actually unless mm-hmm. unless it's Roswell and Beatrice I should say because they're her followers so I guess they're the archbishops of greed, so. I- I don't know. I like I said, there's there's not enough information to be honest. You're yeah, just kind so, of guessing at this. Point, I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah, they are the archbishops, and and so we're following, like we are following, yeah, like them. And so like yeah, Ketna is basically like the main, like the most important person in this arc by far. So, mm-hmm. so what do you think the the finale is going to be then? Like, what's going to be the big <sighs> thing? I hope I don't do it all at once. Like we've got to like all of the thing. We got to stagger everything. We got to like, like I don't know, like kill Elsa and then get rid of the barrier in that order, and get rid of the barrier. Either I guess either, I guess finish the trial or just find some other way to, to break it or talk to Aketna again. So, uh, I want to say that they're gonna break the barrier somehow. I don't think they're gonna complete the trials. I think they're just gonna break the barrier break somehow. And then Echidna's true intentions will be shown. And then that's the cliffhanger, right? Like, Subaru pits all of this together. He's able to figure out how to break the barrier without having Amelia go through all the three trials. And then he's going to go back to the tea garden and have the conversation with Echidna, figure out her true intentions, and then bam, that's the cliffhanger. Turns out that, you know, she wanted Subaru to experience all this for her experiment or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm very interested to see how her character develops. Yeah, because, mm. like, because yeah, like, like you, like, like in the beginning, I was I was skeptical just because she was a, she was a witch, and then right. you realize, oh, there's more to her, and like that, and then we thought, but then now this these last parts, um, you're just like it's it's going back to that 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 gray area where it's like, well, she's not exactly doing the best things, so yeah, so like watch out for her, so. Very interested in how their character develops. Yeah. Oh god. I don't know. I just hope it doesn't end in a way where it makes me like it puts me in a position where I just need to know what's happening next. So I have to read the manga or the light novel. (laughs) You know? (laughs) Like it's gonna force me to read shit, you know? Dude, all you gotta do is wait one season, you'll be fine. I don't know. Because like to be honest with you, re zero, it's oh like yeah, like like what David was saying, every week is just a pain to wait because you want to know what happens next. And you're just so like intrigued with the story and you're so invested that you just can't wait, you know? Kind of like, like a kid at Christmas, I guess. Yeah. Um I'm but yeah. I think yeah, I'll probably I think I'll still keep waiting. I'll, I'll probably read you know, like now eventually you see what was missed in the source material, but I think 
I'm hoping that like based on the trends we've seen, where like we're actually finally getting like second and third season. I'm hoping because because this is like what the number one most popular show on Netflix in Japan. So I'm hoping that oh, okay. like they have enough for season three. Mm. I think people were saying too that um that last when season one ended, like the the light novel didn't have enough for season two. That's why they waited a little bit longer. So hopefully there's enough for season three. What was the time span from this season one? Was it? I think it was four years. years. Four years. I think four okay. years. Yeah, I think it was twenty sixteen when season one came out. I mean, if it wasn't for COVID, I would imagine they would. But with what the world is right now, well, I mean, like, maybe not. They can. I mean, not do it. Not do it like a year from now. But like, I think like maybe another three years. Maybe you can get season three. So. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, I don't know. But that's all I got. <laughs> the cliffhanger and the blue balls still continues. So that's going to be it for ReZero. We're going to move on next to Snafu. Ooh. Yes, yeah, Ren, why don't you lead us off with Snafu? Yes, Ren. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I don't remember. Well, um, <laughs> for basically, the only things I really remember is basically like Hachiman's uh, kind of talk was good. Uh, but everything else was pretty like what we kind of saw like coming from like I mean weeks ago mm-hmm. from episodes where I just pretty figured it was just gonna be this this you know basic stuff nothing special um, which it just ended up being kind of like a typical kind of deal. You didn't think um, their compression was, was special, even though it's fucking awkward. <laughs> I mean, it was. I, I really didn't know even know what to expect. It's like because we already kind of knew like this. Basically, this was just leading to this like they, like for weeks and weeks. There was really nothing that was kind of put like a spin on it. It was just basically just kind of waiting for the end. Um, I don't know. I really don't have much more to say. I'd say <laughs> fucking finally. Jesus, I've all these years was for this moment when they're finally together. So and it was just so. I wish Hachiman was, was more weak. dramatic about it, but whatever. I'll take it. Or Yukino is like any kind of like more interesting than what she is. Yeah, no, like I, I agree with Yukino's character. I feel like. The development was Dude, really weak. bad. It was weak. Right. And yeah. I expect a lot more from her. But then, judging from how season two went, I was kind of expecting this to happen. Um, really? Maybe a... Ever this bad, though? Yeah, because I feel like they were trying to introduce, like, showcase the other girls' specialties, too. Like, what makes them interesting or, like, a good pick. But uh, I feel like they just went too far with that and just left Yukino mm-hmm. in this weird, like, uh, direction. So... I don't think they knew what they were doing with Yukino at this point. They just put her in an awkward position. They didn't know how to like continue it. Uh, what made her as strong as she was before? I mean, I just thought like this arc was just weak, just because I mean, you guys already know my part, my points of view, or my like what I think of uh, the um, prom and uh, how I did not think too highly of that. It right. actually was it was like not more like that, but it was just like the people like that were involved were just that's all. Yeah, I mean, I guess they would have, they could have made it more interesting and used a different plot device. But I mean, all in all, I felt like they're trying to go with a more realistic approach as to what happens in an actual high school. So maybe that's why they chose to go with this route. And then, like, even the confession, like, even the confession itself, right? I, 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 um, I personally enjoyed it just because I felt like it was very characteristic of, uh, of Hachiman. Uh, and again, with Yukino, I, I get it. Like, it wasn't my favorite showcase of, of her character, but I mean, it, I was hoping for them like to ship together, so maybe that's why I'm a little biased. But again, with Hachiman's uh, like character, I felt like his confession was totally in character, and I thought it was like like well played. Uh, so uh, maybe that was just me. Because like if you really think about it, right? It's it's their first time. They both don't know what they really want. Uh, like even Hachiman, like that's basically the whole season. I don't know how to describe how I feel to them. Like just words just aren't enough. Do you think and... this confession was better or Isuki? Dude, I mean, like for for laughs, like for comedic effect, Orisuki is way better. But that's not what like that's not really what this is about, it's right? More of like kind of like, I don't know, like being different in, in a sense, no, I guess. Because um, uh, yeah, even Hachiman was saying how like we both don't know how to socialize, be normal. So uh, yeah, I guess it's, even it's though expected, that's a but... lie. Like Hachiman's so much better at socializing. Like we've we've learned that. Like like yeah. Hachiman is just a beast at like being able to like actually like where he's actually improved. Like, Yukino hasn't fucking moved at all. Like, she's basically still stuck where she's been at. Because it's been, like, we've only been, you know, like, you know, focusing on Hachiman. Hachiman's been, like, the one developing, growing. 
you know, like working on like working on himself, realizing these issues he has, mm-hmm. and he is actually taking steps. When really Yukino you know, is just like a blumbering, a blumbering fool, where it's just like it's just like help me, help. And well, just... I mean, to to, to be fair, Yukino you know, like started out like uh, started out as someone that's kind of already set with, no, but uh... she seems so confident in everything she right. did, and you find out that she's just uh, useless. Right, no, she just came off. Dude. You keep saying useless, man. She's not useless. Like, to, to, I mean, basically, like, there, it's like to an extent where it's just like, I don't know. Right, she's not as capable as dependent as we thought she, as well, she thought she was. Right, well, she, like, what, like, what happened with like the bite, like, you know, like the bite back when like you know Hachiman would do his things on his own, where they basically like, knew he was setting up things like on his own. Mm-hmm. And then I, I, I definitely thought there was gonna be a big fight that was gonna break out when you know she rec- like recognized that Hachiman was basically just trying to throw the match. Mm-hmm. And there was nothing of that. It's basically, it's just like it, there, there was, just, there was nothing. It was basically just like I had a, you know, been, I had a, you know, again, or I had to basically um, rely on you. Where it's again, it's at the same time. I, don't, I would have liked to have seen like just Hachiman just think this shit out like thoroughly, just to see like how well he could have done. Um, right. Or just you know, basically just I, even though I think he would have destroyed her again. I, I mean, again, like from 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 the get go, like I think Hachiman started out at a low point, and then throughout this three seasons he eventually evolved to be up to par and then surpass yukino Beast. and i think yukino was already w- doing well on her own she just came off as this like bitchy stuck up uh girl right and then as other people put it you know rich girl problems right she uh she just uh-huh. uh, i mean that's what some people would would say but i feel like she didn't grow she kind of just plateaued like she came off as a strong character and then she was very intelligent like, totally capable of holding her own but then like as the series goes on like she never really developed she just kind of stayed at the same level that she was at but hachiman was the one that evolved and just outgrew everybody that's all the show's about with hachiman right. basically you know <laughs> like, 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 I, 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 remember. like I do agree yeah i do i i, I can't agree that 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 um you know, did plateau but like I don't know. I just, I just didn't. I mean, besides the fact that she was antisocial in the very beginning, I just didn't see a lot of the problems, like the rich girl problems, whatever. Like, I just mean, yeah, rich girl. I have like that. I mean, it's like not so much, but it's more of like just kind of growing because we saw growth in Iroha, where basically all these things that she didn't give a shit about, she was actually caring about. She wanted to like like leave a good impression on the on the on the teacher when she was leaving. She wanted to do like a whole kind of like speech thing for her, set the thing up, like try to do these things. And then I don't know about Yui. Yui's just been kind of Yui, um, where she wasn't bad, but she was well, actually no. She started off kind of fairly pointless. Like, and then, yeah, she, yeah. She, she did get better at conveying her feelings, so she did grow as well. Yukino okay. was, I think, Yukino was the only one that didn't really grow. She was just kind of stuck at where she was from the beginning. Yeah. Although, although I guess now she's more prone to show her her weak side or her emotional side to Hachiman. So I guess that can be growth too. Um, I'm not really sure. But... Yeah, yes. I mean, yeah. I will say so. I mean, I guess we we not we not the finale, yet, but like in general, like the show is is at it's at its best when it's talking more about like, the social aspects, like with friends mm. and like and like group relationships. That's when Hachiman shines. Is because that's when he's his best character. It's I guess it's like the it's the romance part that falls falls flat. So I think yeah, that's I like think that's, like, that's like the only that's like the disappointing thing I took from this season is that like they sh- they showed more of the because season one and two is all about the group dynamics and like Hachiman. I mean, I guess like it's about the, the you know the facade and like and like he was criticizing other people for like lying to to fit in and stuff when he he was doing it to to the other two. So that's like that's like the theme. But when they transitioned over from social to romance, like it didn't like fit as well. So that's like yeah. the thing I'll say. Like. Yeah, I think the only part with like really where it showed any kind of feelings was basically I think Yui was the only one really showing feelings, even though it was very subtle. Um, uh, I uh, was it like the because I think it also feels weird as well because like because uh, we knew like that kind of like relationship part was there, but they never really showed it uh, or they never really explained it like either. So I think that's why it just kind of also felt weird when it just kind of like seemed like it just kind of jumped out of like almost nowhere. Yeah, but like um, the, the best part of the show was like season one when he he called the girl up at the roof, and then season two when they were like, dealing with the uh, uh, the other school and their yeah, yeah, definitely and, like that the annoying guy who was kept using yeah. business, business jargons and so that's yeah, like I, I, that's like the best moments not like when they're trying to do the, 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 not when they're trying to do the romance yeah so. i yeah i definitely took more and more of the show like with the whole like like you said group aspects or like because i was like that was where the show was the best it i was guess like just solid 
because like the whole time it was supposed to be Hachiman. I mean, I should be saving this for for review because this is the whole theme. But like, that like, was the yeah the best part is when Hachiman he takes the fall. I'll save my discussions for the review later because we still have one more episode, so I'll save it yeah. for that. So this I guess episode, so, I also go ahead. Um, I guess yeah. I guess I'll say that for the confession. Like, yes, it was very in character. So, but the conf- yeah, it was basically it was very hot. I guess I also mentioned too, like the whole joint prom thing. I totally don't understand that. Like, what I guess whatever Hachi one's trying to force and making Yukino be part of it. Like, I don't really get that still. Well, the thing is, is he was afraid that if once the club breaks up, like breaks up, right, they're not going to have that interaction anymore other than through like passing the hallway or having a class together or whatever. So he still wants to have that relationship or the interaction with you, you know? Okay, he keeps saying that. So this is like, the... you can be right. friends still. I don't, I, that part I don't understand either. Like why did they have to cut each other off as if they're not friends? Yeah. Cause I don't realize like he's like, cause basically it's like, I mean, he has a connection with Yukino, but I mean that, that the connection is definitely gonna get hit with the Yui connection. Uh, Iroha's that's fine. I mean, Iroha, Iroha. It's like, uh, like no, yeah, that's like, fine. But you guys have to remember, like Yukino and Hachiman's character, they're very like introverted or they're very socially awkward. So there's no way in hell that they can ever get together and just be friends, unless there's a reason for them to be together. Like that's their I, understanding or I, point of view. I point guess. Of view from when I think about it that way, like it does make sense, but still very weird. Mm-hmm. I think even if you're like introverted and, and bad relationship, you can still like, like once something that. Yeah, your part of ends. You can still, like, be friends. I guess, like, the only other thing I'll say is, like, maybe... Uh, I think I'll say, like, he, they didn't want to keep up the facade of, like, pretending they don't have feelings for each other. I guess that's the only other thing that would make more sense is that, like, they just... They keep saying, like, like they have to keep the club together so they can be together because otherwise, like, they got to keep... But then, like, but like if they keep the club together, they still got to have the facade of, like, not, like... They got to pretend like they're not. They don't have feelings for each other. So either way, you have to like, confront it eventually. So, I mean, true, but that's if they do it. And then if, like I said, like I get it that from the anime point of view, they have to make it more over dramatic just to have it interesting, I suppose. But like, if you want to think about it realistically too, like it, it kind of makes sense. Uh, like even in the anime, whenever they're in the club room together, like you can all just reading their book, Hachimaru just standing there or sitting there reading his book as well on the opposite end of the tables. So unless something happened, like someone came in with a uh, issue that they wanted them to help fix, they didn't really interact with each, with each other either, even though they were sitting across the table from each other in the I same guess. room. So I guess it's like, the, I guess my complaint shouldn't really be about the, the the whole thing about keeping the club open. I guess it's because like they're gonna eventually have to like break that facade away because like because no matter what happens, like they can't they keep saying they can't like you know keep saying they don't have feelings for each other. It just feels like it's gonna be awkward, like regardless with them three after this now. But we'll see. Uh, with them three, yes. But I think, f- like now that they've crossed this bridge, like Yukino and Hachiman, I think they'll be fine. Like, I think even now, like with Hachiman, uh, I think he'll be able to make it okay with Yu too. But it won't be as like as what it was before, right? Yeah, it's still gonna be weird. Yeah, but I mean that's fine. Yeah. I just so many episodes, just feeling bad for Yui. I got nothing else. Oh, but uh, so shout out to the teacher for saying I love you to Hashiman. I was kind of <laughs> hoping that he would respond back with I love you too. Take me now, <laughs> you know, or, or something of that nature. I was still hoping for like that, uh, it's like two years later gap or something like that, or, or three years later gap, and then basically like they're they're in a relationship. I'm so surprised, guys. Maybe we maybe in a visual novel that's the trigger for where Hachiman can respond with I love you too. <laughs> well, uh, in the the light novel, there was one part where they actually went on a date, but I guess so. I'm surprised that Ooh. we don't have an OVA with that, but maybe, oh, oh. maybe one day. Yeah. Sounds spicy. Yes, <laughs> so, we'll see. But that's gonna be it for Snafu for this week, and then we're moving on to Sword Art. Oh God! So where's the table? I need I need to flip oh, something. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there was actually at the beginning of this episode, I thought, damn, this is actually not too bad, and then we get to the second half. Which was Wait, what? Why did you say the first half was not too bad? I, I think it was just because, like, basically, you know, talking with Alice and where it was actually like it made sense. Where it's just like they're trying to like get the gap over, like, like try, like treating AI as actual like people, and how like you know she was gonna be like that one to actually kind of connect people and realize that like, there's actually like they're not just like a robot. They actually have you know human emotions. They have feelings. 
and everything else like that because she, technically she's what the first one to like be kind of put into a robot where it has like her she's own, the own first, thoughts she, she's the first general artificial intelligence yeah so so like so i mean so the, that whole kind of like connect, the talk and stuff was was awesome uh kirito's parents or that would do just seems like a prick um <laughs> dude that's just and like then, dad man yeah he's, he's, trying to look he, for he's, his son. Prick, you know? he's just looking out for his yeah. son Dude, this guy saved support him. him. He supported him. I don't know what Dude, you're talking about. He's jealous because Akirito is so much better than him. It's like, damn, man, this guy's like in high school. He's like, he's saved a bunch of people. Dude, he's he's just... like into all this like, different technology. And he's... this fuck just comes home and says, like, I want the best for you. Bitch, I'm already better than you. Like, that's what he should have said. I don't know that's what, whoa, he, whoa. I don't know that's what he's saying. Calm Strat. down think, there, guy. I think you're Calm overthinking Calm down. It. I was. I, I was kidding. I was, uh... Oh, I, was, I don't know. It sounds like you had some like issues you, on your yeah, own. Yeah, it sounds like you had <laughs> some... Some My, rants uh, you want to get through. Also, when also when she called him father, I thought that was a pretty good moment too. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. and then but, uh, yeah, no, like you, you're right though. Like at the very beginning, like it looks like it was going to lead up to the next season, or whatever, like fairly well, right? I thought it was setting up something big, something awesome, and then <laughs> the second half happened. <laughs> has, has this guy? Hold on, has this guy even started this, the next series? Like, has he started the next light novel or not? I would assume Supposedly, so. Yeah, it's called it's called you know, Ring or something like that. Okay, yeah, I saw like what like the final arc was called. I'm like, okay, no, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sorry, cool. Go ahead. Yeah, no, but like, yeah, as you were saying, with the second <laughs> half. Oh my goodness! Like, Battle you know Star how, Galactica. You know how ReZero like just just made my mind like just go boom, right? This did the same thing, but in a bad way. It, impl- <laughs> it, it imploded. It imploded. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sitting here watching this anime. I had to do a double take. I had to like go back a little bit to figure out what the hell is going on. But uh, he, yeah, Battlestar Galactica. Did you like how <laughs> we didn't even get to see like Underworld see a fucking thing. at all after yeah. 200 years? Like, it's like, oh, oh the first thing I'm gonna do is basically wake up my sister. We see no- nothing of her. We see a fucking. We see that we see the damn thing from Final Fantasy, flying in the sky, whatever that fucking thing is called. Um, Marble. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Then the the basically that. Then we has we have spaceships flying around. I'm thinking, oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Because I because the first one they were gonna go dive back in. I was like, damn, I actually would not mind seeing like what's like what's actually happened, what what's going on. And they're just floating in space. I thought, damn, they, like did he just like actually send them to like a place where like they blew up the world or something like that? And then you see the world. Yeah. And then you see spacecrafts. And then you see monsters from Final Fantasy. I'm thinking, oh fuck. Okay. Well, like the last hope of the show. <laughs> it just felt so unnecessary. <laughs> the whole like fight scene with the space it was monster. Dumb. Like, it was fucking dumb. Like you could have just like showed, um, yeah, just showed the world with like all the lights, like the the the, the city lights, and yeah, that, that's a good. And I mean, you, the audience can tell. Yeah, it's been uh, 200 years, and society has, has advanced. They dragged it out for so long. Yeah, and... they could have just they could have stopped there. Even give us still images of basically just like what the world looks like or something like you know, them kind of exploring it or waking do, up. Or... Do, do the stereotypical like like they're like on like the cliff and they see like, the horizon and they just do like a bunch of cut stills of like the new world. But oh, no, God. no, oh, it was terrible. I guess I guess <laughs> like the show disappoints to the very. I end. guess like I'm thinking like maybe like the author he didn't write anything about the new. Underworld, I'm so I guess, so. So I guess like it be. makes it makes sense from the anime perspective, but then going to that writing, it's like I guess it <laughs> just like it just didn't make sense of how long that last sequence was. It just we and then they, to, they uh, didn't, we... and then they ended with like Kirito will return, but they didn't like say anything like because <laughs> because if you were anime only, like, you would think like oh the next arc is like the space stuff with Underworld, but I'm pretty sure next arc is like gonna be the real world of AR. So. I swear to God, if it's if it's anything with Battlestar ships and shit, I'm like so, it's the, the, the show's GG. So that's that's also why I, 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 I have to be more, like I, I'm more critical too because like because I'm pretty sure the next arc isn't about Underworld again. So why are they? This is like not you know. like a good way to end like just everything. See the reason I also why I think we're so critical is because the the show takes itself so serious <laughs> and it's not serious. Like if it was if it basically had like the like the you know the personality or like of the show of just like partially like a joke where they're just like like Dragon Ball Z it was like, like it, was, it, it was like as a joke where it's not where you, like everything you don't really take serious like if it was something like that but they take themselves so fucking serious yeah. it's just so hard to do yeah so. like it was more it was more like like comedy base or like 
then I guess it's whatever. Or yeah, like like a Dragon Ball where it's more, I guess more shonen is. But this is super like edgy shonen. Yeah, where, it, yeah, it's taking itself so seriously. It's not the edginess I want. Give me back Aincred. Yeah. Um, well, you're gonna get that with Progressive. <laughs> so. I wonder. I wonder if maybe they heard my rant from the last few podcasts and like, oh, this guy wants the original back. Okay, let's do a fucking reboot or whatever. Well, I mean, and that was been out for a while, so yeah. Oh, I, I think he, I think he has to just come back to something that he knows people like. Or you know, Anaplex realized how much of a cash cow that Sword Art is and figured that too. Because be like... we're at we're at the because before you know, like animes were only made to sell like the original sources, so they were only made to make to sell like novels and mangas. And CEOs of publishers are finally realizing that, hey, if we make an anime, we can sell it outside Japan, and it'll make everything much more popular. So, of course. Anaplex oh. realizing that, yeah, just do more sword art. <laughs> Dude, also, uh, also, you know, Kayaba somehow made it to the bottom of the of the ocean and grabbed the one power pole that's there. I don't care anymore what happens to him or his dumb <laughs> robot body. <laughs> Somehow he managed to sink to the you bottom like how... and grab the one cable that was there and somehow transfer to it. <laughs> you also like how like oh, we didn't mention Poe at all. He's, oh, so... he's yeah. like still implosion, guys. Implosion. Yeah. Poe's gonna come back. He's gonna somehow be the ultimate boss, even though this guy's just weak as fucking pointless. Maybe he's the reason why there's giant space monster heads now. Uh... Well, he's been he's been somehow he's just been living his life away like in that then and somehow he found like a. It was an eternal life as like a like half tree. Yeah. Maybe so. he's he's the Elderwood uh, thing in the league. You know. But the, yeah, uh, guys, you you know how people meme about Yu-Gi-Oh uh, being played on motorcycles? Well, spaceships and sword art. Yeah, spaceships and sword battles. Yep. That's, can't go wrong. You just can't. I'm assuming though that they're not going to go back to the world though. I'm guessing it's done. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that they would because they still have to have some kind of mission, right? There, I mean, they, they can they can go to another game and then not, no, not because, a good game, but no, because Alex has to go see her sister. Uh, they still need to try to save the underworld from being disconnected from wh- whatever situation they're having. So they still have to save the underworld, but with the two hundred years being passed or whatever, how many years? Uh, yeah. Technology has advanced so far that they're now at the age where they can create and craft spaceships. But the thing with that though, it doesn't make any sense because like uh, the uh, administrator was there like in power for three hundred years. Like it seemed like mm-hmm. nothing changed. Well, and how she, come like Austin shit changed in three hundred years? I mean, it's because like she controlled she everybody. She controlled everyone. So there's that. But it's also so she was focused on magic the whole time, not really mm. technology. And also like in yeah. in real life, uh, like technology improves slowly if you're in medieval times. It's only until like recently that like technology improves exponentially. So the further you go, it, the more it's like how you know computers were super huge and they now they're smartphones in a short amount of time. So it's like it makes sense. I get why like twenty years was so much. The, the last twenty years was much more faster than like the last three hundred. So well, the thing that made sense to me was the fact that Kirito's there for two hundred plus years. So he could have definitely like jump started yeah, the that too that too yeah. revolution so but, but was, he for was he alive for the full 100 was he alive for the full 200 years though yeah i would you think so. so i don't think yeah. so i think it, he, mm. cuz it's just it's just his fuck light so like yeah he probably his I'm fuck light he probably died at normal he probably died no. eventually no i'm pretty sure he was there for the whole 200 years uh... because of how his uh because of the conversation that he had with the other scientists, where he was just copied over to the his computer, it seems like he was fully aware of what was going on throughout 200 years. And like, Unless, if the administrator was able to well, cast immortality on himself, I'm sure he was able to do it to himself. Okay, if he well, did that, sure. then that makes sense. Then, but well, it, either that or remember like the floodlights. So like, they're still alive in the game in a sense. Because, yeah, they, but they have normal uh, they have normal lifespans of a human. But yeah, if if he if he hacked it, then it makes sense. So. Which I, but you, sure but I'm again, they, 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 didn't, they didn't show us that, so we can only guess. Yeah. Yeah. And he can always just pull shit out of his ass, too, and it, you know, it's Sword Art logic, and it's just fine. He is but, Kirito. So... But David, you were you were defending Sword Art, though. Good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not defending. I'm just pointing out your inconsistencies. Mm. That's you. Welcome, That's you. welcome to the dark side, sir. I'm defending. Mm. No, yeah. I'm just calling you out. So. That's okay, a difference. Right. <laughs> but, uh, hey, we're yeah. just discussing, man, back and forth. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, 
I, I, I just don't. So know. it's like it's like it's it's just really bad because like we know that the next arc is not about Underworld. So this this should have been like a clean ending, and it wasn't. It just left so many questions still, and like it didn't give us like the closure of the Underworld arc. Oh hell no! Closure was bad, and we're, and we're I think I just assume we're gonna jump to a whole new arc story mode, and they're just gonna have that as like the final arc. That's like. Uh... It's, it's so bad because it's just like, like they're just jumping shit. It's like, just, uh... I mean, we complain a lot about Sword Art, but like that is like the one thing I really don't like about Sword Art is jumping through different games every season. Like, I don't want to get used to all these new like games and new worlds. Like, it's just especially with the, these characters. Like, I wish it was so much more consistent. Yeah, like I said, I don't even know anymore. Like, I want to just give it up, but I'm too invested. I need to figure out how this Man, shit ends. Because of you, <laughs> Fox, that I'm like, I have to do this. I could. Yeah, I mean, I you don't have, have not, to. I could have not watched it. It's fine. I'm, I'm okay with talking about Sword Art by myself. It's okay. <laughs> Dude, I will talk about it too. Don't worry. Yeah. I enjoy these uh, conversations that and we have I, about this. If it was just me, I would secretly hype it up and make you guys watch it and then have you guys come back next week and be like, cool, you fuck. That shit was horrible. <laughs> oh what are you even talking about? I'm worst. already going to finish watching everything. Because <laughs> I think I think it's one of like the more fun shows we definitely discuss. Even if it's in the negative yeah. way. But... It definitely gives you a lot to think about, right? And a, and a lot to talk about. Well, but we yeah, want to, We want the show to be good. It's I, But it's I not. Don't, I don't care <laughs> about the show. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I still know. like it. I, I think it's because of the animation as well. Like the animation is top notch, and it's just God, what a waste. Does she go to the new season of IQ? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I know. But what was a waste that like all this animation budget it couldn't animate the last boss, the last <laughs> fight correctly? I know they just shot a bunch of blinking lights at us. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I'm we'll done. do that. We'll do our review of this show. Yeah, so uh, probably, yeah, yeah. We have time, yeah. so we can do it later, and we can get hopefully Brian get his thoughts on the show, <laughs> and whoever else would like to join. You know. So that's gonna be it for Sword Art. Thank God, no more for a while at least. We have the review, sir. <sighs> no more watching and, and, for a while at least, and watch, and watch like a couple of seasons away. That's when they start up the, uh, uh, the progressive. So that's yeah. That's it for. It's all right. I didn't even change the title. I'm so bad. I didn't change the title. I, I, I tried to tell you in the mo- in the notes, but you know. That's, oh, that's chat. So that's it for, for Sword Art. And then we're going to Shokugeki. <laughs> and I didn't watch oh, it this week, so you guys have to carry for me. It's okay, man. Didn't miss much. I mean, basically, uh, it, ended, it ended how we all thought. Um, basically, the guy used you know 100 different things, and he lost because he didn't have his own touch to it. We've heard this this whole thing before. And then uh, Soma beats him, and then, it, then we we know the final is going to be Soma and Arena, and then the I mean, whole thing is now. Okay, so that's, that was like our prediction. Basically, it's like it's like a one way yep. or the other. So it went, it went yeah, the it's way. The, yeah, it's basically be Soma and Arena in the finals, but basically it's going to be Arena's just freaking out because of course she's like, oh, I can't do this, blah 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 blah. And it's kind of like how we already like discussed and we predicted that <laughs> that hot that oh my god, I almost said Hachiman. So that Soma is going to carry this. That's going to carry her through her own cooking because she can't handle it. And then she's going to end up, mm. and I'm just assuming that she's just going to be him. We don't know this, but I just assume it's going to happen. No. And I like how, it even though either, again, this, they could go either way. It's like, cause it's, it's about taking care of her mom. So it's like, I yeah. guess no. so even though soul market beat could beat arena and just be the one to care as a mom. And like but, use that as, as a marriage patrol, I guess, whatever, or arena wins. And then she's the one that takes care of her. So, but even so, like Soma, like basically made her mom's clothes just completely, bar- you know, burst off. Of course, <laughs> the food's not good enough. It, it, you know, basically, like his food did all these things, and then she, and then she's just like, no, not good enough. It's like, okay, bitch. Like, what do you want? <laughs> like, what more do you need at this point? She wants to be able to burst their underwear as well, right? Oh, okay. Undergarments. Oh, okay. That's the true oh, okay. blessing. Gotcha. Which, so which, are, from degenerate's point of view, I get it. I, but, and I appreciate but, it, <laughs> but but her whole clothes bursted off. She had nothing left, and then her else, no, hers were gone. If you go back and watch it, basically everything burst off her. Um, yes. hmm. Interesting. <laughs> but, yes. Nice so detail. that wasn't. Yep. Yeah, she she wants to feel more. That's not enough yet. No, but I guess I was just referring to her gifting because it was a a mix. It was the bursting gift and the the wave gift or yeah. whatever. 
when they started talking about gifts, I was like, I, I basically just, it was just white noise. I was like, yeah, hey, it, was, it was pretty <laughs> dumb, yeah. <laughs> at, this point, at this point, your gifting is trash. So but, I just kind of, uh, but the whole, then the, kind of like the little backstory where, um, where like the grandpa was basically like, oh, I, like I need this to be like the greatest year ever to basically, you know, save Ariana from the God tongue. Mm-hmm. And it kind of shows like all these kind of clips of basically this guy traveling all around the world, like basically just getting the best students mm-hmm. and like just bringing him in that year. I thought that was kind of cool. One of them, though, definitely did not make any sense. Like, there's no way in hell he would be there to, to visit Megami. How the fuck would he ever hear about that? Where, where there's mm-hmm. no way in hell anybody would know about this this chick. Uh, but, but so that, that, that I, I called bullshit on. But everything else, I think, I mean, I could see easily making sense. Yeah. Not easily, but kind of a long no. shot making sense. Just the long shots. Just, yeah, yeah. Just grasping at straws now, honestly. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, by, by far, though, this, oh, shit. I should have said, said oh, wait, I should have said sort out as well, but I'll, I'll say that for next week. This is definitely like this was the weakest arc for like a villain. Like it was definitely like I mean, the, the, well, it, it, we knew nothing about this guy. Yeah, it was <laughs> an absolute fucking speed run where yeah. there's really no connection to this guy. It's just like like what is your fucking point? Like it's just besides like you, where you have like it, where we've already seen this person again where he ha- he has like the same kind of abilities as people where he basically can just steal it by using their weapon where we, we've seen like people you know copying in a sense. And then we, we know that we always know that the exact same fucking downfall every time. Oh, you copied everybody's ability, but you didn't have your own like little touch to it where it's just like the same situation happened here as well. And it's just uh, I'm glad that we have one episode left. And then what a waste well, of I, a voice actor, show... man. I'm all my favorites yeah. and you have to be wasted on this guy. <laughs> yeah. And the show can just be put to rest. We can just only remember the, the good seasons. <laughs> And this last episode is going to be an absolute speed run as well. Like, I mean, because because they, they were already like starting to kind of cook David, and it's basically this episode is just going to be you know Ariana being carried and winning. So. You think you're going to do the last episode? They just got to do a time skip where Soma and Ariana actually finally get married, and then that whatever cooking thing. I'm uh... gonna, I'm going to guess it's going to be in like the after credits type of thing where the credits are going to be rolling. It's just going to be still images. That's what I'm, that's right. my guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, because this because what we have seen from this studio. Has not been good, so I'm expecting st- like just still images. <laughs> yeah, I I I, got, I don't know, I don't know what else to expect from this fucking show. I don't know if you have anything else. Uh... I try to I try to cover like everything kind of just to burn through this part. Can't wait for next week's episode. I wonder who's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> If somehow, if somehow somehow wins, I guess it would, in a sense, blow my mind. But this just seems to be like another Arena arc where this is all about Arena. It's not about Soma. Dude, I'm pretty um, sure Soma's going to win. I'm like, going to guess Soma's... Soma's. I'm going to... Okay, Soma's meal has got to be that first meal he cooked yeah. for, uh, for her. <laughs> it's going to be that. I Basically. have no idea what the hell Arena's going to cook. Unless Arena's going to cook the exact same thing. Yeah. But I don't know. But when it's but, ba- but when the dishes basically just create something you haven't created before, I kept thinking like, "Damn, Soma, this is your chance, man! Make the grossest fucking shit you can think of." Peanut butter. This is your octopus. moment. Like, oh hell no! You know, Dan- worse. I, he definitely could probably do worse. No, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna make that same dish he made at the entry exam. I think so too. <laughs> yeah, but like, now say it's delicious, you bitch. Say it. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming it's gonna be that. And then I, I have no idea what Aaron is gonna make. I mean, uh, no, and I, th- I think Soma's just gonna win just because he leveled up. So. Yeah, he leveled up. He he found someone to cook for to put his all in. So, so you do you think then? I'm um, okay. So if the only way Soma would win is basically if Ariana's cookies like on par of what her her mother would want. That right. is the only way. There's no way in hell they're, they're gonna have like Ariana's gonna cook and then her, her mom's just gonna say disgusting. There's no way that shit's gonna happen. Yeah. So it's so. gonna be kind of like showing some sort of level up for her as well. But I just mm-hmm. still feel like it'll be here, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to see how this ends. I just, I, it needs to be put down. But we'll we'll, we'll see how it's <laughs> it needs how to be it's put done. down. That's my, it needs to be put down. That's one of my favorite <laughs> coup quotes ever. Just, now this <laughs> this has a lip this has a lip <laughs> leg. It needs to be put down. I'm sorry, boy. Just look off into the sunset. Think of all the good times. <laughs> wow, is that how you kill all your pets? <laughs> Oh, oh, luckily I don't have a pet, and I never have, so we are golden, sir. <laughs> All right. I got nothing else. We're at, yeah, we're I'm, I'm good. Phil, <laughs> who's wish? We'll got put it down for this week. So that's it for show. Oh Pinky. God. Oh so much. We're on moving next to our next show. Rent a girlfriend. Oh, oh no, wait. 
unlike our previous show, this show, uh, it's getting more interesting. And of course, there's only one episode left. I'll say that, like, this was the first week, I guess, I wasn't actually pissed off at the main character, even though he was still... That one that one part when, like, when the, all the guys were hanging on, he was still being a bitch, but, like... Just yeah. hiding in the corner. Yeah, but, I don't know. I guess I like the new girl, but, again, like... New girl is pretty awesome. Like, he's, um... He's using the, the whole the whole plot device of, oh, I only love Chizuru. That's why I can't, like, take any of these other girls. He's using that plot device, or the author is using the plot device to drag it on, so... I like how the one thought that is in his mind is, just, oh, if my friend finds out, he's going to tell my grandma. It's like, why the fuck in the first place would he try to contact your grandma to tell her to tell her the news? What? In, who the fuck would immediately say, like, if like if, if something bad happened, I can't see, like, uh, where basically where the guy's just like, oh, my God, I have to tell his grandpa or her, his grandma about this. Like, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> and where it's just like they're trying to make, like, again, like the grandma seem like like a, like, a, like, like a reason for making this continue to go. And I also like how they... Like how like when Mommy Chan came in and basically to look up this chick, I'm like, why did you not do this before? Like, why mm-hmm. did all of a sudden you're like, I have to look up this bitch, and then you find like, and then you're like, oh, she's a rented girlfriend, and then it's like the, the thing in your like in the mind where you're just like, oh, I'm gonna look Chizuru up and then find out and see if it's the same deal. Like what? Because Mommy Chan definitely seems like the like the stalker type that would immediately look this chick up. Like, there's no way in hell she would not just like let you know, just let that go. I mean, she didn't. In a sense, it took it took them like what six episodes for her to finally do it, but I mean, she eventually did. So, what, mommy Chan? Yeah, yeah. To look up Chizuru. I like how you yeah. call her mommy, mommy Chan. Like, yeah, mommy, sorry, mommy <laughs> Chan. <laughs> you, you don't use Chan. For, you don't use Chan for anyone else besides mommy. I know, which is the one I know, right? Because it's because so, that motherfucker says it too. So, oh, she's, okay. she's secretly his favorite. Just, she's secretly feels, his favorite. It feels weird to say mommy. Like it's just like it's just because it sounds like I'm yelling for my mom. Like when I was two. Well, it's a common <laughs> Japanese girl's name, so get used to it, friend. Uh, it's only weird to look at weird. What's what's her other name? I can go by the other name. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know her last name. Oh, God, you guys they are never, useless. They never tell her the last names. Oh, exactly, or, David. They always oh, say Mommy Chan. Or you stop being it. fucking awkward and just oh. call her by her name. Yeah, <laughs> mommy. So mommy. Okay, I'll just call her mommy. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Guys, you don't want to make it weird. Don't say like that. But anyway. But but, but, but like, I don't know. I guess. But but Mommy didn't say, but she didn't look it up like six episodes in though. About Chizuru. No, like from from episode four from when we last saw her. Or five. Oh, you mean when she came back in. Yeah, when she came back in. She's just been Mia this whole time. So I don't know what she was doing in a downtime. Apparently dating other guys. Other guys, yeah. So I can do on Twitter. So yeah, fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought the MC had problems, dude. For real, dude. I, I I guess I would rather be him than her, dude. She is fucking crazy. I would dude. be fucking scared of mommy, dude. What if the show just be, immediately becomes like kind of like a just just dark? What if like mommy is basically just a constant she's real, just ends her, and then the whole thing is basically like him just trying to get like revenge. I mean, or not revenge, be. but trying to figure out who it is. I, don't I mean, so. at at the point that they left it off on, it's totally possible, right? She takes uh, Chizuru off somewhere in, a, in the alleyway and just, just stab <laughs> her or something. Stabby, stabby. Instead yeah. of going like the Doki Doki literature. <laughs> <laughs> right, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> who knows? You know, uh, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's totally possible, but I guess not. I mean, the, the thing, too, was uh, I'm kind of glad that they didn't, like, make the show or this episode too much about her. And they finally introduced Sumi. Uh, which I think is kind of weird because there's only one episode left or two episodes mm, it's left. Probably just following one, one it's, it's probably following the manga, so they didn't, yeah. probably didn't have a choice. Dude, new but girl's the, awesome though. Yeah, but the thing that bothered me the most was that I was kind of hoping that they would like have the end credits uh, showcase their backstory, kind of like how they did with Ruka. Yeah, but they didn't. They just left it off with that cliffhanger. So uh, that was really disappointing to me. Uh, that was more disappointing than like mommy being back in the picture. So. Maybe one day. Yeah. Dude, I like the fucking MC. Every time when he just says like, "Oh, I wish I had a girlfriend," it's like, "It's like, bitch, you do," and you're just ignoring her. And I, I hate him every again, time. Every op- time that happens, he's using a plot device to drag on the story. God, which I mean, terrible. to be fair, it's, it's number. It's I get a popular show on Netflix <sighs> in Japan because all I guess all those simps love it. So <laughs> I just per- I get triggered per- every single time that man brings that up. The perfect simp oh, show. So. So he's, he's only making, had a girlfriend. He's, Sorry, he's grandma. He's making money, uh, man. 
It's like, oh, it's like, oh yeah, well, I wish I had a girlfriend. It's like, no, nah, no, nah, Ruka. I, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy wallowing in my own depression. Oh, and, uh, God. it's I don't know. It, she gets she gets no love. I know. Even though I, I do think that this new girl seems. Uh, I mean, I definitely like Ruka and like the new girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's real. I mean, she's real fine. She's just number one. Mommy is. What are we talking about? It, sure, man. Sure. Sure. And then, sure. Uh, and then, the mommy's just a fucking psycho. And I think we're this next episode too. I, it'll be kind of interesting to just to see how it plays out, just because like now you know, mommy finally decided to look up Google uh, these people, and finally, if you know, episode twelve or eleven, she knows what's going on. And so it'll be kind of interesting just to see how. I wonder if like if she's actually gonna like not care as much for for uh for the MC now because she no, just she's, knows that she's super pissed now because she. Because it's not that thinking that like she thinks he's he's so much lower than she is, and she's just pissed that like he was um like he was like he because he she thought he was two timing his girlfriend, so she thinks that like dude like you're just trash. There's no way you can ever like be like a player to go with two girls. Like who the hell do you think you are? Kind of everything. So yeah, she's, I don't like, know. Just, I... It's just that pettiness. She's just so petty that she can't let go of like someone she thinks that's inferior that's doing better. When she like, but, left but him, now, but now she knows he's not really doing better because he's just well, now girlfriend. She she's probably think she can use it against him, like to make him look bad, probably. So. Either that, um, or basically just like, or or basically just try to fuck with him again, like what she was doing for I don't know how long. Well, to be honest with you, I feel like if they wanted to do a original ending, uh, I feel like this probably would be the best way to do it. Uh, she would be really petty. She would be really mad. And now that she's caught them, she's just gonna blow everything up, thinking that she. Uh, like like messed up their relationship or what they had going on, but in actuality they kind of that will kind of fix what was wrong with them in the first place. Like the truth will just come out, no more lies, no more deceiving, and then from there they're they're free from that guilt and they can just go on with their lives. And then maybe not a they're not tied together anymore in that way. They can just finally do what they always want to do from the beginning. So that's the possibility, I think. I mean, we can see. Do we even know like how much further the manga is to the anime? Manga is. Long, it's like over 150 chapters by now, I think. Oh, how the hell is this shit still going? It's like at least 100 Bro, chapters. I tell you, it's all about the girls. Like, maybe the reason why he made the MC so horrible was the fact that he wanted the girls to just shine, right? And this is the best way to do it. Like, you can make them shine without having a shit MC. MC. I don't know, but maybe that's what he's doing i don't know because like you said i don't know what he's doing but there's no way in hell that he's this bad at writing an mc that's likable you know <laughs> don't so know. i'm pretty sure this is this is pretty much done on purpose in, in my opinion so what else has this guy done i don't know <laughs> you think i can read i can't even read how would i know i i would if i cared more i'd look it up but maybe to, maybe yeah, for next week i really don't maybe they had a season two i would not look into it you know yeah we get yeah we'd have time yeah yeah okay but I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm done. You not we're not even gonna talk about Sumi Chan. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm well, saying. That too. Okay, so <laughs> she definitely. So she's like she's like the she's crazy like shy on, type. She's full on Amelia so this week. That's all what? I heard. I just all I heard from her. Just I just heard keep hearing Amelia. So because because the the voice actress is doing the Amelia voice rather than the Mega Bean voice. Dude, she barely spoke, man. She said like well, two in like her <laughs> monologue <laughs> before yeah. she went out. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I definitely like it's like more where um, I don't know. She's like definitely like I don't know what do you even say. She's just cra- crazy, crazy shy. Uh, shy. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why she picks. She, you know, with the, her like with how shy she is. I don't know why she would want to become a rented girlfriend. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, um, it's just, it's just plot, like plot other... device, just just because they say like. She wants to be better at conversations and like social stuff, and figured... this is why they should have done her backstory in the, in the end credits. Like, yeah. this would have been perfect because they are definitely going to end the series with the next uh, episode, right? So there's no way they're going to have time for a backstory for her. So... Yeah, I probably would have more thoughts like if we actually knew her backstory because I was we were able for, we were able to talk a lot more about Ruka just because they showed even if it was just like still images, like we right. were able to get like more of, a, of an idea. Of like mm-hmm. why she became like why she is what she, like how like how she is or why she is how she is <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> i don't know sorry i gotta get myself confused but then uh with this one like i mean she like she, she seems cute she seems uh like, she seems like interesting in a sense where she was actually like taking strides to, like 
uh, even if it was like considered at the wrong times, but where like when when mommy ch- uh, when mommy came in, and then basically just like embraced him, and then he's like, "Man, this is the worst time to do this. Why now?" Uh, that I actually thought was all kind of like, that uh, was kind of funny, even though. So she must have never seen Ruka then. Probably not. No, no, she's only okay. she's his friend. So okay, so that would be that'd be a lot more interesting just to see like uh, Ruka and uh, and mommy go at That's it. That's probably why. The manga is ongoing for so long because he got all the extra drama. Yeah, drama. Yes. yes, yes. So, what do you guys think? Out of out of four, is she top girl, second, third? I mean, she can't obviously be last, but I mean, she's I she's know. up there. I still like Chizuru the best. So, um, I, I mean, if we knew more about her, I still like Ruka the most. I feel bad for her as right. well. Um, so she'd be no, she'd be number one, but then this girl. I'm interested, but I don't know. She's Riz two, and then she's like, she would be third. Mommy's yeah. still trash. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of in the same boat as yeah. well. But she has a lot of potential, I'd say. Yes. Oh yes. I'm. I'm I would. I'm very interested in her character development. <laughs> so, mm, mm, indeed. But we know we won't get that development. Just read them Sadly. Out. Yeah, I guess. Well, I don't care enough about this shit to read this. I'll, I'll watch it when if they. Or I should say when they announce the season two, because I'm pretty will. sure they probably the show will. show is way too popular not to get second season. Yeah, and it, I mean, it takes... It, I can't see this, like, you know, it doesn't need high animation, nothing. You just do what you're doing, you'll be do fine. Do whatever, yeah. Yep. yeah. But, just, okay. don't, just don't kill the grandma and you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. You don't need so. to, yeah. Just, just whatever the author is doing, just drag it out, because it's working. So, Like, what would happen... If like they made like the in the story, they just made the grandma like the grandma passed passed away. Like what would be the plot device then there? Like what 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 would they say? Uh the you ghost know? comes back to haunts to haunt him. <laughs> this isn't God, what is it? I, I can't even remember the name of the damn. Well, I mean the dang, part of my watch. I technically like they're the make they're one. they're saying like, oh, cheezer has gotta give up the she's gotta give up my girlfriend soon, so he has to make the decision soon too, but be, which could be uh but, which be, be, you know, but then like the, it's gotta be the thing where like she's gotta cancel the role and just do more rent a girlfriend to, to keep dragging it on so who's original ending <laughs> that too <laughs> yes sir which would be really it would be really stupid to have an original ending when you announced when you introduced like the, the final girl for like an episode and then you just basically cut it off to a final or to a to, to, well, to I mean, an original wrap like up. I, th- I think the, the the anime studio probably like they didn't think it'd be this popular, so I could see them like not not thinking it'd be popular. But but then again, I think in this current in this current state of the anime industry, I think most studios should be aware that like the most like if you're trying to make anime popular outside Japan, you need to have it open ended so you can have that that second season. This mm. show's popular for all the wrong reasons, so. But I was it's, pop, it's, pop, it's popular in Japan, so I can definitely see it getting second season for sure. And then, oh yeah, and I know here, like it's it's popular, but it's popular for the wrong reasons. It's not popular because it's good. It's it's because it's bad. Oh, it's I, cool, I shouldn't right? say bad, but the MC is just that fucking because bad. We have way too many Sims here. Yeah, it's just oh god. Actually, there's a lot of Sims, right. there's a lot of Sims in Japan right. too, so I can't I can't even <laughs> talk shit. There's a lot of Sims in Japan. There's probably yeah, more that's Sims. What you're about. There's probably more Sims in Japan than there are here. So. But anyway, I got nothing more. I, I would like to know more. I would like to say like, oh, at least we'll have next episode to find out more about her. I don't think we're getting that. I think it's gonna be all about Cheezer and Mommy. Just wait for a second season. Sadly, then. and maybe Ruka. Ruka was in the previous. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's all right. I got. So that's gonna be it for Rent a Girlfriend, and then just open the floor again. I guess Ku wants to talk more about Uzaki Chan. Oh my god, dude! So her mom comes back in this episode. No more sellout episode. Uh... <laughs> Good times, but they did the impossible. They ended this week's episode with a cliffhanger. Oh, <laughs> life of life was it a good one. A cliffhanger, what is this? Uh, it, it's it might be bad, but basically, she comes over uh, the guy's house saying, and it's raining outside, right? It's pouring rain. And Can I take a shower? Like, Ooh. Ooh. No, no, no. So she's all wet, and then the guy's like, Hey, what are you doing? You're soaking wet. Come inside, and, you know, get a change of clothes. And then she's like, like senpai, I, we can't hang out anymore, and they just cut it out. That so, so is she supposed to be moving? I don't know. We don't know because it's supposed to be a fucking comedy slash slice life, you know. And then now they want to drop this like uh, serious you mean, on you. You mean a boring anime? 
Right. You know, it's like, what? What is this? Uh, but yeah, yeah. You also, something to think about. Yeah, and then, uh, but yeah, I think the favorite thing about for me in this episode was the fact that uh, Uzaki's mom came back in the picture, and then of course she's still having these misunderstandings or this disillusion that you know, like like him and her daughter, uh, they're trying to do a three way with the mom too, and uh, <laughs> huh. I, I think it's pretty funny. But I mean, I, 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 it sounds like I would enjoy this. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that was it. So, so is the manga still going for this? It's gotta be right. Pretty I would sure assume is, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this isn't gonna be like the ending. No, probably not. Anime original ending, maybe. No, oh, I don't know. But uh, again, they did do a one eighty, so I'm I'm not sure. Huh. I, I'm like I'm sure it's not serious, but uh, just the way that they ended it was just kind of weird, like out of character. So. Was, was it good or, or a bad thing? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> no, I, I mean like. Like going out of character, was that a good or a bad thing to you? Uh, like for me, it's more neutral. Like it, it didn't bother me as much. It was just weird, you know. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Any other shows anyone want? Anyone wants to talk about? Peter Grill still sucks. <laughs> oh all right. yeah, <laughs> that's all I got. Yes. This man is gonna have like a just a terrible ending. He's gonna have a bunch of uh. He's gonna have a bunch of, uh, you know, offsprings. <laughs> That's how this show's gonna end. No, it's basically gonna be like, oh, he's gonna finally get with, uh, I don't remember the main girl's name anymore. But and then all of a sudden, everybody's gonna have like a, his kid as well. It's yeah, be a good old family time. I don't know. It's okay. I mean, for all we know, this was just a hentai. The plot doesn't matter, so it's whatever. It's just a good joke show, <laughs> right? I'm still watching Digimon. Okay. I think um, everybody has their uh, super evolutions now. Their ultimates. <laughs> I'm not even going to respond to that. That's stupid. But yeah, I think all their ultimate uh, evolutions are are a thing now. I think, dude, holy sh! That that uh, Go- I think the guy's name was Goemon, like the little uh, seal guy. Dude, his ultimate. I forgot about his like ultimate uh, evolution. Oh, the, so cool the looking. turtle with the Thor hammer. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, I forgot how badass that guy looks. Like he, he just got his, and I thought like that looked really sick. Actually. There was a new episode this week or yesterday. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> so, but uh, but up until that point, though, I've watched wait, everything. So are they, wait, are they having their ultimate forms in a digital world? Yeah. Okay, because in the original, like after champion form, they're supposed to go back to their real real world, and then that, and the Digimon starts invading the real world, and it becomes the yeah, reverse. Yeah. It becomes the reverse Isekai, and then so everyone gets their ultimate forms there. Sir, this is way different. <laughs> so, so. Everybody got their ultimate digital device in the digital world. Go figure. Yeah. Go figure. Yeah, but that, like that whole like thing about that was pretty cool. I was like, damn, dude, this guy's my favorite. Like his <laughs> form of that looks so sick. Yeah. That's all I got. I don't think I'm. I'm not watching anything else that we haven't talked about. All right. So that's gonna be it for this week. I want to thank the audience for being with us today. Thanks, guys. Thanks, if you made me. it this far. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, want to thank the panel for joining me for this week. Thanks. Oh, know. listeners as well. Whoever listeners. listens to actually like this yeah. this podcast. Yeah, the audience. Me. Oh, the audience. I thought you meant like you know our our Twitch stream that nobody's here. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> the audience, whatever. And then thank the panel for listening. <laughs> even though I'm pretty low energy this week, so I can't wait for the summer end and get started with the new season. So. I don't know, man. That next season is uh I just want summer to end. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good for summer. Too much disappointment, sir. Not disappointment, just too much ranting. I, I need to calm down first of all. You know what? I don't know. I enjoy it. That's fun. So. It's okay. We have high to rants about the animation. You do. Uh, That's just yeah. you, man. I don't know. I I I, I, I brought Kuda to my side, sadly. You sure like, did. Really. Yep. I can't enjoy next things with you anymore, friend. <laughs> My bad. All right, that's going to be it for us this week. So we'll see you there. Bye. Bye.